Hi there, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be solving systems of linear inequalities, but with a twist. Not really a twist. With an added item. Okay, because you've done all this before, except for the one last thing we're going to do. All right, so here is our system of inequalities. x minus y is less than or equal to 8. Uh, x plus 2y is greater than or equal to negative 4, and y minus 2 is less than 0. Um, when you're doing this by hand, it's so much easier to do it with colors. So I did. All right, I took x minus y is less than or equal to 8 and put it in red. y minus 2 is less than or equal to 0, turned it into a purple inequality. And x plus 2y is greater than or equal to negative 4 is now green. Okay, so how do you graph inequality? How do you graph the solutions to linear inequalities in two variables, which is the technical name for this? Well, here's how you do it. First, you graph the line, just as though this were x minus y equals 8. All right, so here's x minus y equals 8. I found two points, and I graphed a line between them. It's a solid line because this is less than or equal to. All right, so um, I did that, and then I found a test point, 0, 0, which is the most convenient. You don't have to use it. You can use any point the line does not go through. All right, but I like 0, 0, and n neither of the three lines, none of the three lines goes through it. So I used it for all three because it's easy. Anyway, I use 0, 0 as my test point. 0 goes in for x, 0 goes in for y. I have 0 is less than or equal to 8, and so this is true. I mean, 0 is less than 8, so I shaded in the 0, 0 direction on the 0, 0 side of the red line. All right, and I shaded with red. Now, let's go down here to x plus 2y is greater than or equal to negative 4. I found two points that are on that line, drew the line through them, found a test point, 0, 0, put that 0 in for x and that 0 in for y, and I got a true answer that 0 is greater than, not equal to, but greater than negative 4. 0 is greater than any negative number. Okay, so since 0, 0 gave me a true answer, there's 0, 0, I shaded on the 0, 0 side of the green line. A shaded in green. Slightly different shade, though. Finally, we come to the purple line. y minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. This is just a disguised version of y is less than or equal to 2. y equals 2 is a horizontal line. y is less than 2 is less than 2. It's all of the y coordinates that are less than 2. So I shaded down, but I could have chosen 0, 0, and I would have gotten that 0 is indeed less than 2, so I would have shaded in the 0, 0 direction. Now for the new part. All right, where the lines over, where the colors overlap is our solution set. The vertices, that's the plural of vertex, the three vertices are at the intersection points of the lines that enclose the solution set. So I found V2 first, I suppose because it was on the left. Then I found V1. Then I found V3. All right, let's go through how I did it. V2 is at the intersection of the line y equals 2 and the line y equals x plus, uh, or y equals 2, yes, and x plus 2y equals negative 4. So when I solve those two equations together, y is already 2, so all I have to do is substitute 2 for the y, and I get x is negative 8. So my first vertex is negative 8. 2.
and it's right there. Now going over to V1, uh, that occurs at the intersection of the line y equals 2 and the line x minus y equals 8. So I solve those two lines together. Right here, y is already 2. So all I have to do is substitute 2 for the y, and I find out that x is 10. And this is the point 10, 2. Now finally, the more difficult one. Vertex 3 is at the intersection of the line x plus 2y equals negative 4 and the line x minus y equals 8. So I solve that system together. I decide to use line 1 as my substitution equation. I just go ahead and say x equals y plus 8. I substitute y plus 8 into line 2 for x. I find out that y is negative 4. At that point, I ran out of space. So mentally, I went back to this line. I put in negative 4 for y. And negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4. So my third vertex is the point for negative 4. OK? We got it. Talk to you later.